Yesterday, Noel asked you to send me a pop so I could turn it into a wallpaper. So all you had to do for this one is send in a pop and say computer or phone or just say the dimensions and then I would make a wallpaper. Thank you to Voltage for this idea. He sent that in the NA questions one. So thank you very much. Very great idea. So first one, let's do from Harrison. This is Michael Myers holding a bloody knife. And this one is for mobile. So first thing I did was just brought in a picture of that, then I just cut it out, and then I just put him in the corner, and then I got a background that was like the dark color of his mask, and then I didn't know what to do at all. So then I brought him to the center, and then I made a selection of all the parts of his mask, also his eyebrows, and then I just filled it like a normal color fill tool, and then I just made it one of the, like the colors on his mask. So then you can see it looks like pretty simplified. And then I got all the colors of his skin and made them all one color too. Then I did the same thing with his eyes, his hair, his clothes, the blood, the knife, the hilt, and the shoes. And eventually we had this, a pretty simple looking pop, like a drawing it looks like. But then it, his face looked a little weird, so I just made a little triangular selection that was short, sort of in the shape of his nose. And then I just made that a little darker because it was too much white. So then again, I had no idea what to do. So I copy and pasted the blood that was on his chest, and then I just brought that into the background. And then I lowered the opacity so it kind of looks like it's staining the wall. So I brought it on, and then I just started selecting little splotches of blood, and just copying and pasting them all over, changing the rotation so you can't see really a pattern, and then warping a little bit of blood so it looks like it's dripping down the wall. And then I knew this obviously wasn't enough. I wanted it to look kind of hazy. So I really played around with this. I just added a little blur on him and that did not look good. And then I added like two more of him, lowered the opacity. Cause like, you know in movies when like someone gets hit in the head and then like they see two of the person who like hit them. So I did that, but no, that doesn't really work as a wallpaper. So then I brought him up front and put the two behind him. And still it just looks like what is that behind him? It You can't tell. And I just kept trying and trying a bunch of different stuff. And then eventually I realized, like, it's not that complicated. I can just put frog in front of him. So I did that and then I lowered his brightness a little bit. I just added a few more foggy things around his feet because it kind of cut off there. And yeah, this is the final product. This is a cool wallpaper. If you like the Halloween movies, you can use it. And if you do use any of these, please let me know. That would be awesome. If someone used one of my wallpapers, I would very much like that. So if you do, tell me somehow. I don't know. Next one is a very wholesome one. This is Michael Myers holding a bloody knife. It's from Brooks. It's the Carl and Ellie, like on the street where they've got the mailbox with the handprint. So. This was a fun one to do. First thing I did, brought it in and cut it out. And since it sort of cuts off at like a triangle angle, a triangle angle. So what I did, I just like put it down at the bottom so it sort of cuts off. And then it sort of cuts it off and it looks pretty normal. But we have to have something in the background. And what I did for this one, it's a little weird. I got the Toy Story clouds, you know, the ones from Andy's room. And I put them in the background. I mean, it's both Pixar, so it's sort of on theme. And then I just gave it a little bit of a blur and lowered the brightness. And then I put a little bit of a shadow. And then I just like found a poster of Carl and Ellie just so I could get a flat version of their handprints. And then I just cut out those handprints. And then I put it in the background, made it a little blurry. But then it looked weird, so I changed the angle. And then I just lowered the brightness on Carl and Ellie a little bit because they didn't need to be that bright. And there you go, that's the final project. We just did two phone ones. The next one is from Zeke, he said, Polka Dot Man, which either one you'd rather do. So let's do a computer. So, brought in the pop and I didn't cut it out because it's a newer pop, so there were some PNGs out there. I just used, just like, put some gray dots in the background. And then I used the fill tool to make it a red dot. And I just chose the red that was on his outfit. And I just started spreading it out. And this gave me... And this looked pretty good. And then I just copy and pasted one of the red ones and then filled it with the green color that's there. 
And then I just started spreading it out. And then I started changing the sizes so they look like they're all different. And then I got some blue ones. And then I got some yellow ones. Red, green, blue, yellow. Yesterday, Noel asked you. But then I just selected all of them and started copy and pasting them all over. But it really looked bad because it just looked like the same pattern. And I want them to all like be spread out. So I like flipped it and then... I just started messing around with the stuff in the group and just like flipping all this stuff around, moving it, changing the layers in in each group. So then I just like made a big blur at the back. So then I kind of sucked in the middle so it looks like they're coming out of his hand and going outwards. And then I added a vignette that might be too strong, but here's the final project. Editor Noel, I don't know if you changed anything about this. Yeah, if you did anything, like, put some text on the screen. Next one is from Voltage, Grumpy Cat, Noel's Choice. And I chose a computer because there were a lot less computer ones. So, first thing I did is I brought in the photo of Grumpy Cat also. Already cut out because it's newer. And then I cut off the body. I decided to simplify this one because I didn't know what to do with it. So I selected the brown parts, made them brown, selected the tan parts, made them tan, selected the blue parts, made them blue, selected the pink parts, made them pink, selected the white parts, made them white, selected the black parts, made them black, and then we had this. And I copy and pasted it and put one in the background. And then I just filled it with that tan color. And I started making a little bit of a pattern here. So then I copy and pasted it and made it a white one. And I started making more of them. And then I copy and pasted it and made it a brown one. Just made a few more of them. And I made like two blue ones just to add a little pop of color. And then I added a pink one just to make a pop, another pop of color. And then I just dragged them all over. And then I put it into a group, copy and pasted the whole thing. Because this is a really w easy way to make a pattern. Just like do a bunch of them and then just copy all of them and move them a little bit. And then I had that and I gave it a little bit of blur just so it looks like it's a little further back. Then I did the same thing, gave it a bit more blur. Then I started making some a little bit bigger to fill in the background. Then I had this. It's okay, but meh. Some of the, the things in the background are too big. We definitely need more of those cat heads. And then, like, we all know the grumpy cat font. So I added a bit of a stroke to the outside because the grumpy cat font has a huge outline. So I just put one around the head. And then I started just adding more of that cat pattern all over until finally we had one that was pretty much filled in with cat heads. And here it is. I'd say it's okay. Not too proud of it, but like, it's kind of hard to make a wallpaper with Grumpy Cat. Next one is also from Voltage. But Voltage submitted Shrek and, I mean, there's no way I could turn this down. First thing I did was I got a picture of Shrek. And then I brought in a little rectangle and I put it behind him. And then I chose one of his green colors. And this like looked pretty cool already like looked like his head was like the whole thing I don't know I like it so far but then I decided to do it for his shirt too and then I brought in a white one and then I brought in a brown one for his pants and then you know what it looked kind of weird chose that same green color for the background and then I made it a little bit brighter so he stands out and then I got his eyes and then I made it a very very dark gray and then I just made that a dark brown chose the white parts of his shirt and then I made it a brighter white than the one that's in the background. And then I chose his pants. Then I made them a little bit brighter. And then I did the same block thing for his feet. Chose that same color. Made his feet a little bit brighter. Then I dragged Shrek all the way over to the left. Gave him a little bit of a shadow. Moved it over to the right. And then, like, Shrek looks weird without a nose. So I selected his nose. And then I just made it a little bit darker on his face. So and this is the final product. It's an okay one. Now we're on to our last submission, and this one is from Adam Tron. It is Kool-Aid Man, so I brought him in, and then I made the background a little bit of a darker red. So I simplified Kool-Aid Man, got all that red, made it red. Then I got, like, the top part of him and made it white, and then I cut out, like, the little bit where it shows red kind of, like, flowing around at his top, and I made that red. And then I made his, like, eyes and all that black. I decided to just make it a gradient where it's white at the top, and right at the bottom and then I started to make the shapes of ice cubes copy and paste them and make it a little bit darker all over so it has that sort of like ice cube pattern but that didn't work so then I made sort of like a wavy selection down his face 
and made part of him a little bit brighter. Did the same thing on the right to make him a little bit darker. And I did the same thing in the background. He 100% blends in with the background way too much. So I added a little bit of a shadow just so you can see the difference and see his arm because you can't see his arm at all here. So for the next scene, I want you to send me a pop and I will unpopify it. This idea is from Biggie Cheese. And for this one, I did an example. I did the Captain America holding Thor's hammer and the shield. So yeah, here was that, how that turned out. But the thing is, I'll have to do this a different way each time just to keep it interesting. So join the Discord, link is in the description and make sure to submit. You have a high chance of getting in and then you can submit your pop to be unpopified. But thank you to Biggie Cheese for this idea. Yeah.